Hello, I'm back again with yet another lore build for Leverface, this time based on the old lady mask, again from the first movie. And this one is even less practical than Killing Mask. For one, we got Scorchuk Monstrous Shrine, which is probably the most practical build thing we're going to be using. Why Monstrous Shrine? Well, it's simple. Uh, in the film, Hitchhiker uh, is the one we're assuming is doing this, but the house is full of little trinkets of bones, dead animal bones, human bones, all over the place, like a shrine. Uh, and that's what I thought was pretty accurate. And given that the old lady is the homemaker personality, I, I did kind of have to stretch because he doesn't do any killing with this outfit in the uh, movie. But uh, yeah, I based it sort of on his home and how he acts in this role. And given he's the homemaker, I assume he's helping maintain the hitchhiker's art all around the house of all those dead animal bones and all that. So that's where that perk comes from. Next perk we have is Whispers, which is, um, for a basic perk, it's not too bad. Uh, it's uh, basically when you're around a survivor, you hear the entity. Basically, this is a stretch. I basically thought of this as how in one of the scenes when he's in this outfit, the cook's berating him, screaming at him, <laughs> basically, for his poor job of chasing Sally and how much of a hassle he had. So because of that, that's the one I went with to try to represent that scene. It's not perfect, it's the entity speaking, not the cook, but Bub is kind of deranged, so maybe he wouldn't even understand what the cook is saying in the first place. Then we have Dark Devotion, which um, I based entirely off the perk's name, basically. He is darkly devoted to his family, for a lack of a better term. Uh, he is doing everything he does because his family wants him to not because he wants to. It's out of fear. He's darkly devoted because of that. That's why I chose this perk. It's actually a pretty decent perk as well, but it's a basic attack perk, so keep that in mind. Um, then lastly, we have Hoarder, because, I mean, just look at their house. <laughs> just look at their house. It's a mess. There's so much victim junk that they stole. There's bones everywhere. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty obvious why I chose this perk. Then we go with the Grease, because... It's a, it says it's a lubricant that they made to basically work around the house. And, hey, that fits. It's a homemaking personality. The grease is a pretty useless add-on, but it fits this build. And vegetable oil, same thing. It's uh, homemaking, basically. So I figured when Bob is helping around cooking, he'll be using the vegetable oil, uh, which I'd assume he'd be helping with when he's in this outfit. Uh, so that's basically it. Let's, uh, got some more gameplay coming up. Again, no commentary, just like last time. I might change that after this original film series is over, but I hope you enjoy. And again, tomorrow I have the Pretty Lady Mask, which, probably the second most Loverface iconic mask of all time. I mean, it's pretty cool, uh, and I think I made a pretty damn good build for it. Um, and given that movie is the ending, you can figure out the ways I've sort of went with that build. Hope you enjoy this, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.
Oh, <laughs> 